So yeah, I actually have a third article. This doesn't happen very wow. often. Um, I don't know why I switched. Oh, because we were talking about it. Um, so this is more Florida crap. Concerns over sex content leads Florida schools to pull Shakespeare. This is not a long article, but um, uh, some Florida school districts are shying away from Shakespeare along with other classic po and popular materials. Uh, they say they're attempting to comply with the new state law restricting books with uh, books with and instruction about sexual content. Mark Caesar okay. sent two dollars. Says Snake and Hawk on the on their way, sleep well. Always keep one eye open for the falling snake. Yeah, you know what? I'll extend that. I'll give Jesus a longer deadline. If I get attacked by a snake and a hawk while I'm sleeping tonight, I will still become a Christian in the morning. I will live stream my conversion to Christianity, and like show you the the gashes on my i might have to do it from the hospital from my canadian <laughs> hospital with my free health care where they're treating me for my hawk bites but i will become a christian if that happens to me tonight i promise um so yeah anyway hillsborough county became the latest to take the step telling teachers they could assign excerpts of plays such as romeo and juliet but not the full text because the full text uh, has sexual content in it and they're minors so i like uh so i like the uh gaither high school teacher says um i think the rest of the nation know the world is laughing at us says joseph cool his name is, is literally he, he's mr cool is is he cool though i mean i need some data on this he's the one that's pointing out that the world is laughing at us for being so uptight Un about being sex so that we can't have Romeo and Juliet in schools anymore. So like, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say Joseph Cool, he is a cool dude. He is Mr. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. And if he's actually a good high school teacher, he leans into that shit and like introduces himself by writing his name on the blackboard. I am Mr. Cool. I am literally Mr. Cool. He's <laughs> the cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be great. So uh, groups of parents have pushed uh, to get some materials removed, while other groups have pushed it just as hard to keep as many titles available as possible. Uh, guess which side I'm on. And this, you know what? I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to say I do not approve of the Bible being banned in Florida schools. Mm -hmm. However, with the rules they have laid out, the Bible should be banned in Florida schools. I mean, that's one of the. I mean, we talked about malicious compliance on the yeah. show before. That's exactly what it. Because if you're if you're going to ban it, a book, it is banned, and I think Arizona. If you're going to ban a book based on, let's see here, depictions of gore, uh, depict uh, sexual acts, uh, promiscuity. If you're going to ban it based on immoral actions, like say, I don't know, uh, children uh, raping their father. Um, you know, just like any any of those things. If you don't like any of those things in books, then you don't like the book of Genesis. <laughs> so uh, Progress Only says has a fucking Joe Cool poster with his head photoshopped on it instead of a Snoopy. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, how could you... If your last name is Cool, how could... Like, if you're a teacher and your last name is Cool, you have to have fun with that. There's no way you don't have fun. Like... Same thing, like, if I was a high school teacher and my last name was Dick, I would lean into that as well. Because that's a real last name. It's of Scottish origin, of course. Oi, oi, oi. I wonder if... Okay. I get hmm. into trouble for Googling things like this, but I wonder if there is someone out there who has... Um, oh, it was Utah that banned the Bible, not... Uh, not Whatever I said earlier. Arizona, I think I said. Yeah, Utah. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, no, that's one of those things. I, I I wonder if there's someone out there whose name is Richard Dick. And so like their name is just Dick Dick. Which a Dick Dick is actually a really fucking cool animal. Have you seen a Dick Dick? No, I haven't. I've seen a booby. Yeah, yeah, the blue footed booby birds. Don't want to start Googling on the one that everybody can see right away. Hey, look, I've played with fire multiple times by going through Twitter on my on on, on my actual screen. Uh, not a good idea. This this is the dick dick. 
They're adorable. Oh, that is so cute. They're adorable. I the dick dick is pet. fucking adorable. It's like a little miniature deer with little tiny horns. That's so cute. I so, need it. And so there's got to be someone out there whose name is Dick Dick. That is cute. It is. I need that in my life. Um. So yeah, a uh, growing number of titles are under review in Northeast Florida school districts. They're spending tens of thousands of dollars reviewing and cataloging books to meet the state laws. And um, now this is a very short article and it goes into like different topics that are related. So mm -hmm. AP Psychology, growing number of Florida school districts shied away from offering advanced placement psychology amid concerns that the state's definition of age appropriate lessons might not coincide with the AP excuse me, the AP course's requirements, despite assurances from educa from the education commissioner um, that they're fine. So this is, this is the fallout of book banning, is now they're like, okay, well, if we can't have books that have that content, can we offer educational courses that train people to be psychologists that you know, th their whole job is to help people? Are we able to offer those courses or is that going to be seen as like violating this obscene material stuff because in order to be a psychologist you gotta learn about some fucked up shit yeah and so getting rid of this is like when moms for liberty tried to do their whole like mental health has no uh place in florida education oh did you see that uh what you know one 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 million moms no i don't Oh, you don't. They're they're this Christian organization that their whole thing is boycotting things. There there have actually been a number of things that I've started watching or using or whatever specifically because they boycotted it. Like um, they were the ones that pointed out that uh, the new Ducktales show has a gay couple in it in one episode for like two seconds. And so I heard I heard that I didn't know it was just like a blink and you'll miss it in the background kind of moment. So I'm like, oh, sweet. I'm going to watch the new DuckTales with my kids. And it's actually a really great show. And I enjoyed the show and we watch it with the kids. But like the gay couple are on screen for like two seconds. They have no lines. It's just two guys standing mm -hmm. next to each other. That one of them that has a shirt that's like, you know, my husband is crazy. And the other shirt says like, oh, my my husband is crazy. And they're both pointing at each other or something stupid like that. Um. But what what actually really amused me is that they um, one million moms missed the very overt uh, suggestion that Donald Duck is trans because there's an episode where they uh, they transform into mermaids and Donald Duck Donald Duck's mermaid tail is basically the trans flag, huh? And they oh, there's there's other stuff in like oh um, Donald Duck I guess lays eggs at some point. So like he is female to male trans mm. and uh, he's, he's Della Duck's twin brother, but they're identical twins. And in order to be identical twins, he would have to be the same sex as Della Duck. So in order to be Donald, he has to be trans. So like there's, there's a few things like that where he's like, Donald Duck is trans y'all like canonically. Huh. And, and one million moms Fair completely enough. missed that. Anyway, I forget what I was going with the one million moms thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Aveeno. They're against Aveeno now. Did you see that? What is Aveeno? It, like soap and body wash oh, and wait, moisturizer and shit. Is it is it because it has chemicals? No, it's because one of their commercials recently um, featured a kid that at one point was like, it, it was a boy. And at one point he wore like an astronaut costume with a rainbow tutu over top of it. And he's like, I'm a ballerina astronaut. And that's it. Oh, so they're, 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 they're doing what conservatives did over Bud Light. That's what they're doing. Yeah. Oh no, you showed the but wrong that, thing in your advertisement. It's a kid, I'm angry. That's not even like, that's not even non-binary, gender neutral, trans. That's got nothing to do with that. That's just a kid playing dress up. Like kids like to like boys like to wear dresses sometimes. Yeah, sometimes we call them togas. You know, if we're yeah. feeling frisky. But also, um, I was I was about to be like both of my boys like to wear dresses sometimes, but like they're just still boys. But um, one of mine has recently come out as non-binary. 
and it's actually it's hilarious because they uh they came out as non-binary in the, like i don't know you have to know them to like this is the most them way possible it was like uh they went to a group thing where everybody was wearing name tags and they had the option of putting pronouns on the name tags as well and uh, they put they them as their pronouns on the name tag and so this was them coming out to me it was like just when i went to pick them up they had the name tag with they them on them and mm. it was like didn't say anything about it but like just made sure that it was like clearly visible the entire time as i'm picking them up leaving me to be the one to initiate the conversation be like so i noticed your pronouns like does this mean that you are non-binary now yes like okay great it's gonna take me a little while to adjust to that because i've had 12 years of he him and now i gotta go to they them so i will mess up but like i, I am supportive um so yeah i was gonna be like you know my boys like to wear dresses and they're both still but nope one of them's not but still the other one's still a boy i'm pretty sure he's uh going to remain a boy but sometimes he does like to wear dresses mm -hmm. because you know human beings th this this always comes down to should human beings be free should human beings be mm -hmm. allowed to do things and this is funny because you go you like the republicans will tell you that they are the party of personal liberty and yet they are and also yet... the party that most often restricts that mm -hmm. funny how that works anyway <laughs>